So apparently this is a thing now. It's been a while, isn't it? Um, where should I start? I should say, well, first of all, hi. Second of all, sorry, I guess. Third of all, you're welcome. M mainly those two for the content not being up for like a solid year and a bit. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a new type of video. I guess. Kind of a vlog and kind of a documentary. So yeah, I guess you could call this a vlogumentary. Yes, yes, I am in my bathroom. Don't know why, just here. Yeah, I, I need to get out of this. I need to get out of this bathroom before I do anything. Right, just give me a sec. <coughs> right, okay, let's... Great, I'll lock, I'll lock the door for... That's embarrassing. Cotton, uh, my home away from home, or whatever like cringe thing people say. Cotton, Cotton is definitely you know like one of those places where it's like I mean even though the land may seem debatable, um, the people there are so 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 humble. Like honestly, the, the people there were the, the people there were the only reason why I went. The next day, um, we went to um, the wedding. I remember for the life of me who's though. Uh, so yeah, that's great. Yeah, it was, it was a wedding, yeah. Right, so it's a bit late notice, but yeah, I'm going to a wedding, innit? Don't know why. Um, yeah, it should be lit. I mean, they're playing Stormzy right now, aren't they? Yeah, yep, they are. Yeah. <laughs> A few days went past. I went to go visit um, the uh, organisations and everything, which I've been to the previous year. And yeah, there's, there's some pictures and like some footage from the previous year that I went there. Yeah, and it was it was really good. Like it was it was really cool to see like how what we did caring for children um, who were cancer patients really, really helped them. I'll be honest, the majority the majority of the time I just chilled with family. Like. Yeah. All right, new dawn, new day. So today, what am I doing? Actually, what am I doing? Apparently, I'm going to some relatives. Um, you may know this as the girl that um, on my Instagram blog, blog that uh, vapes pens. Yeah, I'm visiting her and her little sister today. So yeah. Right, I guess I'm done um, for the day. I mean, I'm gonna chill with the rest of the family. So yeah, hopefully I should be back in England by the time this is over. Nah, there's no chance. All right, take it easy. I think the final stop we did before I went away was, um, I went to Nile Street, I think. Yeah, no, I'll screw it. Buenos dias and that. So today, we're right now, we're at Shara Neil, which is basically Nile Street. And yeah, views are pretty sight, innit? Unfortunately, because it was so packed at the time, like, I couldn't get a chance to sit down closer on, like, the actual boats themselves. Because, like, they actually, they usually have, like, music acts and, like, all that sort of stuff on the River Nile. Uh, you, might, you might think this this is pronounced do Doddy, right? Like. Or, or Dodi or something. No, it's Doody. Do Doody. It's not that kind of duty. Yeah, we we went to what used to be called that. Duty. Things were things were going well until you know they got they got the wrong pizza. They fucked up the order. I'm fucking raging, bro. Where's my fucking pizza? Man? When we did get our pizza, like. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of olives. Don't know why we got one with olives when we said margarita, but... I ate it like a champ. By taking out the olives. Hygiene is perhaps the biggest problem facing Sudan right now. You could literally take three steps anywhere 
in Sudan, and if you look to the ground, there will there will be loads and loads of rubbish. Like on my way back from there, you could like you could see like all the rubbish and everything that's there, and like how that is just like you could you, you just wouldn't see that like anywhere. Here. Rain contributes so much to hygiene because it also contributes towards you know the quality of the water that they have there, which is. Abysmal. The water that they have in there is so contaminated that you know how I'm usually saying like, oh, I'm gonna be all stopped up and everything. I'm gonna take like loads of imodium and that. You, you don't need imodium, my G. All you need is a swig of that water and then you'll be on the toilet for the next 26 hours. I guess that's it for that. Um, it's just a massive palm. Here. And I guess this documentary style thing. I don't know if it was good or not. Doubt it was. I don't think I really informed you on anything. I guess this documentary, well, documentary, vlogumentary. It's still shit, it's still a shit name, man. Like, I don't know why I even made up with it. I feel as though this is better than like a standard get to know me tag or like 25 or 30 facts about me sort of thing. I feel as though this is better if I, if I just like, just cut straight to like my roots and just show you where I'm from, innit? Where I'm from. My, the people that have made me into who I am and hopefully yeah hopefully that's sort of entertained you thanks for thanks for listening to me on for this entire time um, I really hope that you know what I've said actually helped you in some way right so see you next year for the next upload yeah all right take care I mean I know that all right. Hi. Hi. Yeah. How's it going? Hi, Doctor. Do you know? I'm not going to show you, right? Right, so, uh... So, yeah, that was my mum. <laughs> I can't put this in the real thing. Right. <laughs> Pe the people there are beautiful, right? I don't mean beautiful as in like, you know, like a fancy them or anything, but like, y you get me. Like, it it's, it's... <sighs> okay, right, let me let me just start this again. Right, hello, hi. Where's the camera? Yeah, this is a really weird setup, innit? Yep, and I'm barricaded off by like, this, this thing. I guess, I guess it's a fancy backdrop, I don't know, like, is this what they do in documentaries? Like, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Documentary. Haha. <laughs> Ah, I'm, I'm dying inside. Right, Sudan. Place where the human race uh, came into existence. True story. You're welcome. Better to just leave it, maybe just take a picture outside the house. Outside the, you know. My corn chicken nuggets are done. <laughs> no, that's what the beeping is. If, you, if, if the camera picked that up, the beeping there, that was my corn chicken nuggets. <laughs> God damn. Just to let everyone know, there, there's actually no one over there. I'm just looking over there because that's what, you know, interviews do. You know, they don't look at the camera, they just look. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. So that's, that's why I'm looking over there. I don't know, or there. I don't know why I'm looking over there though, like, it should be there. I'm just literally making eye contact with JJ's face and it's... It's unsettling. <laughs> I'm literally just making eye contact with that face, like... <laughs> Why? Do I belong here? Alright, well, we're rolling, yeah? So... Sedan. <laughs> Hi again. It's me. <laughs> Hello. Hi. And welcome back to the Osman Bilal Hour. Why did I just bait out my last name? Oh shit. It's been 10 minutes and I have done nothing. Nothing. Vaccinations. I am. I am. Why can I not talk? I feel like I'm gonna give birth to a 
fucking hippo, mate.